Hello everybody, Dmod Gmod here, and welcome to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Analysis video. And a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, really like the Chrome one, so I thought we should tackle another really hyped character, and one that I've been waiting for for so long, as well as many others. The King, the one and only, Mr. Giant Belly himself, King K. Rule, number 67 in the roster, or in the inclusion of Smash Bros. history. Because he's not the six seven, there's not six seven characters in the game. There's actually seven in the free, I think, which is pretty freaking crazy. But he came in number sixty seven. So today we are going to do what we do with Chrome. We're going to look, take a look at his screenshots. We're going to take a look at our video footage we got so far of him. And I'm going to go over one by one and give you my thoughts and what I think about everything. All right. So that being said, let's get started with screenshots like last time. So let's get started. First screenshot. We got a good shot of the king himself, looking menacing as ever. He, honest, they they nailed how he should look. He looks scaly he's got the big claws he's got the menacing teeth the eyes on point they really nailed his appearance in this game they really did and i don't think he could look any better than what he does right now and it's like even little details like the ripped cape in the back that's that's also really cool so yeah appearance 10 out of 10 they nailed him all right next up here we got his musket cannon this is obviously his neutral special and we're gonna see later because we got gameplay footage of this but the musket cannon's actually a really interesting move it's like a combination of his Bowser Jr.'s Cannonball and like DD or Kirby's uh, sucking special. So like, it's kind of like a mix of the two of them, but done really creatively. And I really like how they did it. It's really cool. We'll talk more about that later though. But for now, no, that's his neutral special and it's pretty dang cool. And I'm going to assume this is an idle animation or a taunt, but you got the whole like smug and like sassy he is. It's, it's, it's totally fitting for him. And then here, this is both really funny looking, because his bald head, he looks like, yeah, I look, like, disappointed and, like, pissed he looks at this, but this is actually important to notice, because I didn't know this at first, I thought this was, like, like just, like, a side B, like, item, but, like, it turns out that this crown that Villager has right here is actually a held item, you can pick this up and throw it around, we'll be seeing this later in, like, in footage we got, but, like, it's not just a simple boomerang, it's, like, a full-out, like, attacking move, it's, like, it's an item, it's a projectile, it's everything. It's really cool, actually. And then this is his counter that we saw before. Unfortunately, we don't actually have, like, footage of his counter. Like, we can't actually see how, like, how strong it is or anything like that. But his counter looks pretty reliable so far. If it's a strong counter, it's gonna be really good. If it's a weak counter like Palatina's, it's gonna suck. It really depends on how powerful this counter really is. But, yeah. So far, it looks like a decent move. And then we got two of his alts. We got a pink alt and we got a blue alt. Now, both of these alts, they look pretty nice. I like the pink one more. I personally, I, I think I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be sticking with the fault K rule unless something changes in my mind, but I like the pink one. I like the pink K rule. So yeah, those two of his alts. And then, what's this? This is his reveal trailer, right? Yeah, this is probably his reveal trailer. Okay, we're not going to watch his reveal trailer, or at least we're not going to watch the whole of it. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to watch on YouTube. We're going to go straight to the YouTube channel, and then we're going to skip right to the footage part. So, despite the funny troll, like, don't get me wrong, this trailer is probably one of the best trailers that... YouTube, please, don't do this to me. But his trailer, like, was probably one of the best trailers in Smash Bros. history. It was so perfectly well done. It's, it's amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, which I'm pretty sure everyone has, go watch it. But we're going to skip right to the gameplay aspect. So, let's skip to the big croc himself. We're going to slow this down so we can get a look at everything. Because we actually got two gameplay footages to look at, so that's pretty neat. Alright, so we're going to go to 0.5 speed, and then we are going to full screen, and then we're going to get this started. Alright, sorry for the wait, guys. Here we go. Alright, so here we got it. I'm assuming that's a taunt right there. Alright, let's see what else we got. So this is the musket ball. This musket ball right here, as you can see, he sucked in Kirby after he shot the cannonball, which of course the cannonball is a projectile itself. But after he sucked in Kirby, he actually shot out Kirby, which is where I was talking about like the sucking part of DD and, and like Kirby comes from. Which is going to actually be pretty good, because this, this is probably a command grab. And this is a command grab, having a command grab is just good in general, because if anyone's just staying on shield and platform, you can just jump up, grab them with the suction cannon. But there is the issue that the cannonball might get in the way, so like, if you try to like, jump and suck somebody up into, into the gun, the cannonball might like, hit them away, or like, just simply block them from getting sucked, and they'll have enough time to get out. So that's a little bit problematic, but besides that, pretty nice, pretty nice move overall. This dash attack here, this dash attack, it beat Little Mac side B. Little Max ID is pretty freaking strong, so the fact that it beat that means its armor is pretty freaking good, so keep that in mind. Also probably a kill move. Alright, this is his up B, and we don't actually have any other footage of his up B, unfortunately. We don't have like any footage of it like actually being used, but from the looks of it, I am willing to say it looks like a move that doesn't have a hitbox on it, and it just like ascends you 
up and down. It doesn't look like it has a hitbox. This means it's vulnerable, and since K will size, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be pretty easy to hit him out of it. So unless he's got armor or something on it, it's probably going to be a very mediocre recovery. Looks like it goes kind of far though. This throw here, this throw is really cool. This is actually his up throw, and something that we're gonna be seeing later because thankfully we got more footage of K rule to work with after this is that. His up throw will actually ascend to the top platforms like uh, Men Knight's up throw or Charizard's up throw, which is really nice because it means that if they're at high percent and you want to kill them early, you can probably like grab them, throw them up to the top platform, and then you just kill them outright earlier, which is nice. Also looks really cool. Now this I want to. This is like this looks funny and all. Like it looks kind of funny. He's trying to get the bananas, which is just iconic. But I want you to take note of this. Look at this. One sec, we're gonna back it up a little bit. Also, his eye right here looks freaking hilarious how pissed he looks when he misses it. It's pretty funny. But if you look at this, look here. This shows you his grab range. And his grab range isn't anything crazy like going forward and back. It looks like an average grab. This is that's, this is the thing to take from this little screen right here. His grab range is not crazy good. It's just nice, solid average, which normally is like whatever, but like this is a heavy character, and most heavy characters have like crazy grab ranges, so it's just, it's just good to note. It looks like he has average grab. Here's his counter. We see it. It launches DDD away. And the reason why I can't say how strong it is is because we don't know what percent he was at. And we also don't know, like, it was a jet hammer, which is strong for sure, which means the counter should be strong in return. But we don't know the percents. So we can't tell if that's a strong counter or a weak counter. So that's why we can't say much about that. That's his incoming animation. We can hear Link's sound in the background to confirm that. Boxing glove. This thing looks like it has solid rate. Let's look at this one more time. So as you can see, it looks like it comes out fast. Like, like he did his forward smash at the same time Bowser did his forward smash. So that means his forward smash is somewhat fast, which is good. Also, since the Bowser it launched Bowser, I'm going to assume it's probably pretty strong for a forward smash for a heavy character. So it's probably strong too. So looks like a pretty good forward smash. This is just funny. Him getting footstooled by three characters. <laughs> now this crown here, this is his side special here. This move here is actually really interesting i thought it was just gonna function like a link boomerang like it's just like throw comes back and that's it but basically he throws the crown and it has a hitbox coming in and coming out which is kind of nice but here's the cool thing is that he can actually move while the crown's moving as well which is good which basically means that you can use it to set things up you can set combos up with it because the way it launches as we see we're going to see later it actually sets up for combos in the sort so all in all very very nice very good and this is this final smash, which, as you know, you know what? From this point on, we already know everything's good speed, so we're just gonna do it to Marvel. Watch King K. Watch the island get destroyed by the king himself. Looks amazing. Select a cool tribute back to Donkey Kong 64. One of my favorite games, by the way. I have. I really need to play Donkey Kong 64 again. That game's real. That game's a lot of fun. All right, so there you go. That's all the footage we got from this. Now, I'm going to cut away here, and we're going to take a look at his other footage, which is like full, flat-out good footage of a King K. Rule match. So I'll be seeing you guys in just a second. Okay, folks, we are back, and as you can see here, we actually have like real gameplay footage of K. Rule in the game. We get to see everything. It's a normal match, and I'm going to stop every tweet and now and then add my comments, but for the most part, let's just, look let's just watch this over. So here we go. If First look at King Rule in gameplay. So first of all, first thing to notice, he is huge, which makes sense. It's K Rule, he's a big character, he's a big boy. But here's the next thing you want I want you guys to notice. This boy, this boy here, and also I'm gonna up the quality because this kinda looks like crap. So one sec, I'm just gonna upload the uh, 720. That way it looks better. There we go. Still not the best looking, but that's what the best we can do, so I hope you guys understand. I'll link, I'll link both this, like, I'll link this footage into the description, so if you want to watch it yourself without me, like, constantly doing this, you can. First thing to notice here is that, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go back a little bit. I want you to watch King Rule the second he moves right here. He moves fast. Do you see that? He is a fast-moving character. He has a fast dash dance, too. This is kind of cool, because we've never really had a heavy in Smash Bros, which had a good dash dance that was really fast. K. Rule might be the first character, or... Ultimate made me to be full of fast, like, dash dancing heavies, but like, K and K rules, as you can see, he is definitely one of them. So he's moving back and forth really quick, which is really nice. Alright, so next thing we see here, that's his back throw right there. It grinds across the room, that's pretty good. And here's the interesting part, you just saw that, right? He threw the crown, but Snake just picked it up. As you can see, it's actually an item now that you can throw. So that's pretty cool. So that was his back here we saw there, and... 
His back can look pretty solid. I shouldn't pause that, I'm sorry. Alright, so right now he's getting fricked up by all these moves. He's a really big character, so it's expected. Now this right here, this is really cool. So as you can see, Snake hits back the cannon shot, and then K. Rule shoots it out upwards, as you can see. He doesn't shoot it like straight, he shoots it upwards. Now this is really cool, look at this. He got forwarded into the cannonball. How freaking sick is that? That's so cool. So as you can see, the musket and, and crown both have a lot more uses than we first thought, which is really nice to see. Look at that! Did you guys see that? I want, I want, I, okay, we're gonna go back a little. Okay, not that far. One sec, one sec. That was a little too far. Okay, you know what? We'll go, we'll go back here. Okay, watch this. See this grab range here? K. Rule confirmed to have a really good pivot grab. That can mean a lot of things. If K. Rule has really good throws, that can be extremely dangerous. If he doesn't have that great of throws, it's still dangerous, but. Good lord, we got another Bowser coming, I swear to god. <laughs> Now you're gonna see here, he does the up throw, brings right to the top platform. And as you can see, he can follow up after. I'm pretty sure he can follow up with an up till after. Also, this nair you're seeing here, that's a DDD nair, that's really good. And he air dodged like a fool. Whatever though, but the point is, his up throws, his nair, like all his moves, they all look really good. As you can see, that crown, that launch him at an angle, that looks like it's going to combo. That's really good. Alright, Kale's trying to get in, which I don't blame him, this is Snake. Snake's a freaking wall, so... They're definitely difficult. Alright, so as you can see, the crown comes back and he gets launched, but the crown also goes away at the same time. As you're gonna see, the crown spawns right on top of his head, so he doesn't like have to go fetch it or anything, like the crown comes back to him no matter what, basically. And then Snake gets fricked up on his final smash. Alright, K-Rule, we'll give it to him clean! And there you go, that's K-Rule footage there, folks. And I, I, I hope it wasn't too much of a mess trying to explain, like, explain everything. But I was trying to go like a little bit by little bit explaining my thoughts on like every move because there was a lot to talk about there. We got like tons of good footage and thank you Nintendo for giving us good footage of him by the way. I, I'm thankful we don't have to wait till next direct to see more of him, which is great. Alright, so now with all that being said, I'm gonna come back to the main page. We've seen all the footage that we have, like that we can see of him and I've given you my thoughts on like basically everything we can so far. So let's talk about the final thing that I talked about in the Chrome video I'm gonna do with K. Rule as well. What do I think could be him in the metagame or tier list? Which it's really hard to say right now because we haven't seen like a quarter of ultimate. There's way more on the way that we haven't even seen yet. But what can I say about K. Rule at the current moment? He's fast. He's, he's definitely heavy. We haven't seen his recovery yet though. Like we haven't seen like his actual recovery in gameplay which kind of sucks. We can't tell if he has a good recovery or not. Uh, we haven't seen his counter either which also kind of sucks. So that's two of his specials we just like haven't seen like anything of unfortunately. But yeah, he's fast. He's heavy. He looks like he's got combos. He hits pretty hard too as we've seen. So, in general, I can see K. Rule being pretty good. I feel like the offensive, like, mechanics of this game, over the defensive ones, like in Smash 4, he'd probably just get camped the frick out. He wouldn't be able to keep up the competition, so he wouldn't do very well there. But in this game, offense is a lot more rewarded in this game. Shields are weaker, you do more damage, launches are faster, combos are eat, like are more stagnant, air dodges are weaker. So all in all, I can see K. Rule being a pretty strong competitor. He's got the speed to keep up with his opponents, he's got the power to get the kills and, like, keep himself being threatening. He's got an amazing pivot grab, so his grab game is probably going to be pretty strong. And I'm going to assume his up throw kills. It looked like it could definitely be a kill throw. It also comboed that low percent, which is nice. We also got throw combos, it seems. His crown is very nice. He's got good projectiles. So all in all, until we see his recovery, it's really hard to say a really good place. His recovery can really kill a fighter, as we know, like Little Mac. I'm going to say K. Rule looks like a pretty solid mid-tier at the moment. I, I don't know about high tier, because for what I've seen out of the like, characters I think are high tier, like... Cloud or Bayo and stuff like that. I don't think it's quite like up there. Like it's gonna be hard for him to fight those characters. But overall, I can definitely see K. Rule being quite a frightening character. I can see him as being a high mid tier, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Until we see more, though, I think that's gonna be my final thoughts on him. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like on the on the video. It really does help with the channel. Subscribe for some more Ultimate, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the future. Who knows? Maybe next time we'll talk about Simon next. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys then.